Dumelan, Dumelan, it's a binky, Dumelan, yo. Today, I would like to dedicate this episode to black people who are into Star Wars. Do not distract us. Leave the white people who are excited about the UFOs, excited about aliens to do their thing. They don't have enough problems in their lives. As black people, we need to stop worrying about things that are too far from us. They are too far from us. We don't care about that whole spaceship nonsense. We shouldn't. We enjoy the movies. Like, think about it. Like, some guy decided to draw his idea of an alien, which is like the bald thing, grayish looking with the fingers. And that was him thinking, oh, if there were aliens, they would look like this without noses, without mouth, because they live in space, so they don't need to breathe. They breathe through their skin. All that nonsense. It was just imagination. I get imagination is very important, right? When I was a kid, I remember watching like these cartoons and these kids were talking on like that device and they were looking at each other and I was like, it will never happen. We will never have a device where you can face call someone. Here we are. But now it's different when it comes to like things like uh, extraterrestrial life, right? Like you cannot create that. I mean, you can. We've seen how white people just created God. And they're like, hey, there's this thing up in the sky that created all this shit. Fuck science. And it's black people. Hey, hey. Not with aliens. We don't have time for that nonsense. UFOs, aliens, keep that shit in Star Wars. We are busy. As black people, we need to focus on jobs. We need to focus on having good lives. We don't have great lives. Like, if you're watching this, tell me if you can survive six months without your pay. Whatever you're doing, if you're unemployed, I don't think you should be wasting your time with Star Wars fantasies. Like, I believe people who really care about UFOs and the Pentagon releasing them now is a big distraction. It's a distraction. But don't worry, don't have been trying to distract us as black people. We don't mean anything. There's something that's happening that involves other rich white people. We should stay the fuck out of that bullshit. We don't care about UFOs. Like, oh, Pentagon, we, we saw this thing. It was like a saucer and then it was flying and then it did like an L at like amazing speeds. It's impossible. Yo, do you honestly think aliens are wherever they are? 50 times, not even 50 million times better than us in terms of like mindset and everything from, from what they're claiming with what they're trying to put as creation of aliens. Like, oh, they created this saucer, this UFO that can travel like quick, 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 quick. Hey, man, we saw the Wright brothers making aeroplanes. We saw the improvement of computers from semiconductors being like biggest things to like a smallest thing. We saw all those. Do you honestly think people who are smarter than us are looking at us and they're like, should we go there? Look at them. They're fighting in the Middle East. They have all these other people who are Muslims in this country and now they are being turned into like cheap labor. It's not even cheap labor, man. It's slavery. Let's keep it what it is. Let's call it what it is. It's slavery, what's happening to the Uyghur niggas, to the Uyghur Muslims. What's happening to the Uyghur Muslims is slavery. And as black people, those are type of things we need to worry about because if they treat people who don't look like us shitty, we animals to them. But that's a topic for another day. Congratulations to the Chinese government for lending a rover on Mars. You see, these are just power fights, guys. People are fighting for power. Like the other ones are like, going to Mars. The other one is like, oh, we also landed. I'm starting to think they're making this whole shit up. And the one who says, no, that's not true. You guys are lying. This is like CFG, whatever. The other one is going to expose them as well. And like, yeah, you also lie. You guys got like billions from your government to create a rover to go to Mars. What the fuck are we doing in Mars? They keep saying it's, you cannot live there. There's no water. There. But that's the human thing in a lot of white people, black people. That's not our business for them to be like, hey, let's go to Mars. What the fuck? 
We haven't even been on a plane. Why the hell do we fucking care about UFOs? Fuck you and your UFOs, man. Like, we don't care. Give us fucking internet. Give us jobs. Create fucking opportunities that help us uplift our families. And when I say create, I'm saying give us the chance to create. Talk to your banks to give us money so we can start business. We'll leave you alone. Go to Mars. Go live there. We don't care. We want our mountains here. We want our rivers. We don't care for all that nonsense. What the fuck am I going to say to an alien when I see one? Oh, bro. I saw you an alien too. You lost your shit. No. no. <laughs> Landing on the rover. The same people who landed in the moon over 50 years ago. They're going back now. Really? You guys went there 50 years ago and you're like, ah, let's not try this anytime soon. Fuck out of here, man. Not that I don't believe in all this nonsense about the moon landing. I have my questions about it. I've seen enough information, but I don't want to sound like, like those people who just sound crazy and flat earthers. And I already sound like them, but I have to be careful because... YouTube might remove this. Twitter might block me. So we are still we still have to deal with like social media companies just taking control from governments, which is okay because the governments were useless anyway, especially in Africa. But as Africans, do not care. We do not care. And when I say we, I mean I and the three people watching this. We don't care about the UFOs. We don't care about aliens. We know not to bother shit. Like, oh, I was watching this short film by Harris. He's the guy who used to do Borders on Vox. He did one about Australia. Check it out. It's super amazing. I will link it below. Oh, no, I won't link it below because you're not going to check, check it anyway. So, but he explains, like, why Australia has, like, certain animals that are only there in Australia. Actually, talking about going to Mars. Go to Australia. They have like some weird shit here. They have like some animals that have like pouches. They have some animals that are only available there that have like some things that you cannot explain. They have white South Africans there. It's like all aliens that are there. They are there, all of them. So we need to focus on the shit that matters to us. To us, we just want to feed our families. We just want to go to bed, wake up, and there's enough food to eat for all the people in the house. That's all we want. Is that too much to ask? No, I don't think so. And that's something we need to focus on as black people. Oh, and also, all these international organizations, you guys need to stop with this nonsense of the digital divide. Oh, my God. Oh, oh we're trying to fight the digital divide. Oh, no, the global south doesn't have enough internet. Yeah, let's say you come, right, with your digital divide vibes. You go to some rural area in Eastern Cape, in Zimbabwe somewhere, like in Malawi. Go to Malawi and you find 5,000 people in an area and you're like, oh, I'm here to fight the digital divide. Cool. Give them like phones, the hardware. Give them internet. And then what? They should figure out what to do. And then you guys must stop with this nonsense. And I'm talking to all you organizations that are focused on internet who are getting millions to just organize conferences where you talk about the digital divide, but you don't do shit. So what? What if people get internet and then what? You guys need to invest in the content. Oh no, they can get educated. They can access like videos on YouTube. Nah, they'll watch porn. If you don't create videos that will help them locally like hey malawi people don't smoke anymore but you guys have all this tobacco what do you do let them come up with solutions no you no no not you not you 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 want to tell them i ah, know i think you guys should get internet you should get phones and then you guys do your little less research like oh there's many people in this area uh have access to internet your kids are depressed because of this internet we watching your kids commit suicide and you're like oh why because you didn't get the jordans so as black people we have to be careful there's certain things that white people promote and god bless them they live in the way like even with the rover landing there it means nothing to us don't even get me started on african countries that are not doing those type of shit they can't even give us like affordable internet so let's not even try to put too much pressure it's just a bunch of old people that we're all waiting for them to like 
die. I don't wish death on anyone as an African, but politicians must go. So all this is like showing like, oh, we have the capability to do this. We can create something that can go out of space and land on the Mars. And then it's a robe. I will take pictures like, what the fuck? And then what? Got there, took selfies. Yeah. Huh? What? Do you want to move there? Move, guys. We we really cool. We cool. You guys have been destroying this earth with your overproduction and globalization. So as soon as you guys leave, we going back. Hopefully by then we'll have better internet to just living on earth. That's all we need. Oh, speaking on living on earth, please check out VUF, VUF, Vertical Urban Farming. It's coming soon. It's a project where we're going to teach children how to produce food. And then we need parents to participate in that. Just like a slick talk video. Abuela. <laughs>